I recently attended a press event where Toyota showed Auto Riders its newest product at its Plano, Texas, North American headquarters, which is pretty cool. This is better, a track day at Eagles Canyon Raceway with the ability to drive all sorts of fun things on the track. This got a lot of attention, the new 2022 GR86. It earned a GR badge, right? And GR obviously stands for Gazoo Racing. So this is all new for us this year. Um, leaving the 2020 behind and bringing the 2022 as a, the GR86. Um, probably one of the biggest things that you'll notice uh, were a couple of the exterior from the active vents on the front fender to the side spoilers. Um, and then on the premium, you've got that nice duckbill spoiler on the rear. Rear drive, Torsen limited slip differential and more power from a larger engine. Under the hood, we went from a, a two liter boxer motor to a 2.4 liter taking it up to 228 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque. Available with a six-speed automatic, the GR86 is just begging for the six-speed manual, right? It comes with a bonus. So you buy an, a GR86, get a NASA membership, gives you a free HPDE day as well. Um, so I'd say take advantage of it and do exactly what we were talking about, get out on the track. There's only one of these at the track, so I can't drive it, but there is an upside. Ken Gushi is taking me for a ride, and if you don't know who that is, you're obviously not into drifting. Let's just say this is a good opportunity for me. This is the only one here? Correct, yeah, this is the only one we're driving today. It's a 2022 GR86. Um, it's basically the newest GR branded vehicle in our Gazoo Racing lineup, and I couldn't be more excited to show you guys. I'm just gonna shut up, kill the music so you can hear, and let Ken do his thing. Have you driven a uh, previous generation 86? Yeah, and I really like it. Yeah, you'll notice right away a lot of small changes here and there out of the big gates. First thing you'll notice is the acceleration is improved. Instead of 6,600 RPM where we see peak torque, it's now at 3,700 RPM. So coming out of the corners is breeze now. Steering feel hasn't been improved by updating the EPS system and also stiffening the bushings that connects to the steering rack to the subframe. So turn in is very precise. The car is very predictable. It still has the DNA and soul of a pure sports car that you really have to work for. But when you get it right, it's extremely rewarding. Brakes feel amazing. The chassis actually is stiffer by 50% up front thanks to diagonal bars that connects the frame to the, the subframe. Uh -huh. And then the rear is 60% stiffer thanks to a new ring design that ties in the upper deck to the lower part of the body. So do you really notice the difference between this and the outgoing car? Oh, big time difference. Yeah? Yeah. The biggest notice I change, the biggest change that I notice is steering feel. I mean, it's huge improvement on the steering. And the torque? The torque that comes in early at 3,700 RPM. Yeah. Big difference in acceleration and corner exit speed. So instead of downshifting all the time in the corner, I can leave it in one gear for the most part have that acceleration power to dig myself out of it. So right here is a steering demonstration. Yeah. Very tight. Wow, very yeah. precise. The car is very predictable. Yeah. It sounds good too. Oh yeah, it's a lot more higher pitch exhaust mode now. The exhaust dam is actually <laughs> bigger than the previous generation. Oh as really? As well as the intake. The intake design is actually smoother now and they've lost a lot of the turbulent bad airflow inside the pipe itself. So it, so there's a more smoother power delivery. A little bit of trail braking there. As you can feel, it feels very planted. Yeah. Late apex here. So right here is what I'm talking about. You can leave it in the same gear and pick it out of the corner because it comes on a lot sooner than before. Oh, just listen to that exhaust tone. That, my friend, is the 2022 GR86. I like it. You know, I wish more people understood how good cars like this are. Oh, that yeah, you don't I, need massive amounts of horsepower to have fun. No. And obviously, it has more power. Right. Some think this car needs more power. Maybe consider the Super 2-liter and its turbocharged four-cylinder, if that's how you feel. But the GR86 is proof positive you can have a great time with reasonable power. Like a Miata, sometimes it can be more fun to drive a less powerful car hard. Hope to get one soon and drive it myself. 
And remember, subscribe. There's great car reviews for me every Tuesday, plus every once in a while, extra stuff like this. That's Driven. I'm Tom Bolt.